Uh, Rob, congratulations to having a laugh and a joke there. wasn't your best performance, but the win is the important thing in the opening round. Yeah, of course. Um, I couldn't even really put it down the wetiness or coldness today. It was like you hit a 12 and then I, did, I sort of messed up first leg, I suppose. You know, um, would have liked to have been a little bit stronger at a double at the start. I'm just watching Josh at the minute, sorry. <laughs> but um, but now nah, for me, you know, I get through. Cam, I, did, I played Cam this year on the Pro Tour and it, it was unbelievable, 114 or whatever it was. And I sort of expected that level or, or up and it wasn't quite there and, and suppose... I suppose I got sort of a little bit distracted in the game, expecting a little bit more and it never come and should have just done my job. That middle section when you're both missing doubles, are you almost just wanting the other one to hit it to end the leg and end that misery of that leg? Yeah, of course, obviously. It's sort of like I'll get so many darts, I tell myself, right, enough's enough, you know <laughs> what I mean? I hope it goes because I want to move on. I want to I wanna kick in next leg. But it wasn't the case today and, and look, I take it. It's another win. Um, but I'll improve tomorrow. That's a promise. Look, the way you're playing at the moment, you had the final, obviously, just run into a magical performance from Luke. Your, your game's in a really good place. Do your expectations change after playing so well in one tournament coming to the next? No, nah, not really. If anything, they go up, you know. I feel comfortable. I feel back to my old self. Um, but the, a massive thing for me, look, I enjoy it. I want to play everything. And, and if I can play everything, what I can, and maybe get selected as an in. <laughs> um, I think... I think actually, yeah, I'll, I'll probably excel. Um, that's where I'm at at the minute. But yeah, we we just look, we just see how it is, see how we go. We've got the biggest tournament of the year next next month, and um, yeah, eyes on this one first. It's quite a contrast though, because I remember this time last year that you were adamant that you didn't want to, to be selected. Where tw uh, 12 months on, now it's a case of you do want a piece of that that Premier League pie in 2024. Yeah, look, I'm a, I'm a simple person, I'm like Jackal and Hyde. So I'm up one minute and I'm down the next, and that's the way I've always been. Um, nothing to the PDC, I would say that. The difference is, I think for me last year, it was it was my boy, he had nine months off of school before he started. I got, I got the best nine months of my life this year with him, you know. I see him three or four times a week. Next year, he's not there. So, so it's time <laughs> to go back to work, pretty much, you know, but... I think for me, enjoying the game, doing what I'm doing, and and actually, I did. I could feel, I could probably be a little bit better than what I am at the minute. I would say that. I'll just put that out there. But yeah, I definitely can. Dangerous roll cross then heading into the Ali Pali. Yeah, I'm enjoying it. Just enjoying the game. Just taking it, sucking it up, up like buttercup. But um, no, nah, to be fair, look, just get your head down now, and that's what I need to do. I need a big performance in the worlds and stuff. I want to move me world ranking. And next year I haven't got any really wins to defend. So if I can do that, then um, leaves me in a great place next year. Won the Worlds before. The one thing that's missing is that world number one spot. Is that something that you'd like then? I do. I love it. I love it, you know. I, I, think, I think after winning the world and I was number two for how long, it, it was tough. But at the same time, look, I played a prime Michael Van Gogh. A prime Michael Van Gogh. He was amazing and um, he was the best player on the planet and he deserved it at the time. I wouldn't say it's like that now, I'd say it's a little bit more open. Um, but at the same time, look, just, just get myself right, make sure that I'm right and yeah, maybe around the corner, but you've got to do great things beforehand. Rob, many congratulations. Cheers, thank you. Rob, we know that Cameron wears his heart on his sleeve and we can see that he was getting visibly frustrated in that match. When you see that, looking when you're approaching the Yorker, does that give you more confidence that mentally he's not, you know, he's, he's already lost the game almost? Well, look, Cam, Cam didn't play there, and I had a chat with Cam afterwards, and and I'm not going to repeat what he said. It wasn't bad or anything, but he he wasn't right today, and and you know when Cam turns up, he can do great things. This, it's the difference in the game. You know, he's a dangerous player. He's here on merit, and. Um, yeah, I, did, I sort of got away with one and I threw a couple of decent legs when I needed them. But yeah, we look at that and we just move on. That's that's as simple as what it is. We know that everybody looks ahead to the World Championship, but can it be hard to almost focus on this tournament with the big one looming in just a few weeks' time? Oh, 100%. No, you one tournament at a time. You can only ever really look to the end of your nose um, with tournaments. The difference is, I've been here seven years, you know, maybe before I was overlooking certain stuff and I was trying to get to the Wells because I never experienced it before. Everyone talks about it, but um, 
for me, I suppose, look, now just, just want to be professional, just want to do my job every week. It's 120 grand this week. How can you look over 120 <laughs> grand? You've got to be mental, I've really got to say. And this is where the game is now, and I'm very grateful, obviously, to the PDC that we go and play for so much money. And so, well, look, it's great. In Indoors, practice rooms, everything's professional. Money's professional, you know. Um, you've got to pinch yourself sometimes. But, look, overlook this one, then I, I think it's criminal, personally. You spoke about wanting to play everything and wanting to play in the Premier League. Do you think you've done enough as it stands to be in the Premier League for next year? No, I didn't. do you know, it's, it's really weird. All top four have obviously always been picked before. That's where I would have liked to have been, to, to probably cement my place. Um, but look, I, did, I have a weird and wonderful way about myself and, and, and yeah, I'll have to be picked by the looks of it at the minute. You can't lift it, look a gift horse in the house it, or in the mouth. But... Um, I think for me, just get your head down. Just focus on what I need to focus on. That's that's back of the mind and front of the mind has got to be put your best foot forward for this game, you know. Um, whoever gets picked at the end of the year will deserve it and, and other stuff. But I've had a great year. But not saying that I'm not gonna have a better year in the next in the next two tournaments, you know, and that's what I need to focus on. I need to do my job and the PDC will always do theirs to pick pick the right people. Rob, big well done. Thank you Cheers, very much. Mate.